Welcome to Cali Night Shift. This is Garage, and it certainly has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, Night Shift gangsters know how it goes. Sometimes, you know, things happen. You just don't have a ton of time for games. Uh, I believe it was June of this year that the Eldritch Realms DLC was launched for Age of Wonders 4 and I literally haven't had the chance to play it until now um, which is lucky since they also Triumph Studios just announced the second season pass of DLCs for the game which looks sick. Uh, I was able to look at the Way of War stream that they did a couple days ago. Looks like a lot of fun. And I thought it was cool that basically they incentivized if you purchased the se season pass with some extra, you know, immediately accessible items. Which I'm going to kind of go over real quick here. So this is who we're going to be playing with today. This is Augustus Corpser. And you might pick up on a number of Gears of War references. So, again, haven't had a chance to play Eldritch Realm, so I wanted to use a, um, a form from that expansion. So we're going to do Bugs. Uh, we are keeping the Ceaseless Cacophony, which is going to have some synergy with our culture and tome choices, basically getting adjacent enemies to increase their fumble chance, which we're going to hopefully capitalize on a lot. But I chose to get rid of the Overwhelm Tactics and the Cold Blooded in order to use the Pegasus Mounts, which were one of the bonus items you received if you pre-ordered the season pass. So we're going to try those. I'm kind of disappointed with the effects because the actual Pegasi mounts don't have any special bonuses in the way that, you know, like the elephant does, the mammoth does, the nightmare does. And obviously not all of them do, uh, specifically... I want to say the ones from the Pantheon rewards, which I have not unlocked them all. But if we go to here, like, you know, these mounts, these racial mounts don't provide any bonuses. So, you know, that's fine. But um, I think it would have been cool if they had, you know, given you some sort of bonuses. Maybe they can fly. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, we're going to go with the barbarian culture for two reasons. Um, I'm actually personally not particularly fond of it. I My understanding is that it is strong, so hopefully that's good. Um... But the main reason is, number one, because the new society trait that came with the DLC purchase, Swift Marchers, seems to have some synergy here. And that's basically because of the starting with Force March and how, you know, Force March inflicts no damage to your units. So basically, the ins it incentivizes using Force March heavily. Now, despite the fact that you take no damage, my understanding of this is that you will still innately um, suffer from the exhausted status for the two turns. But with the Barbarian Culture, you have access to, I believe it's called the Ritual of Alacrity. Yes, here. So you can activate that and not only does it restore hit points and move points, but removes Exhausted from Force March. So that seems to be pretty strong. And um, in addition to that, as the Barbarian Culture, which is going to have heavy Chaos Affinity, I figured 
also because we're doing bugs. Uh, we go with Tome of the Horde, move into the Chaos Tomes, and then one of the Tomes in particular. Let's go ahead and find it. I believe it's Mayhem. Yes, so this is all about basically utilizing the Misfortune mechanic, which not only increases Fumble Chance further, much like the Cacophony physical trait, but it's going to um, you know, basically improve that by dealing damage when the enemy units do fumble. And the Barbarian Culture obviously appears to have mostly close range uh, physical combatants, so we're going to be standing next to our enemies and my intent is to actually kind of move into both this and the order tomes um, to support tier one units because my understanding is that with the Eldritch Realms uh, patches and release that tier one units in particular have been kind of strengthened and so I know where is it is it the beacon yes like here in particular we're going to focus on tier one units to give them faithful, reducing their upkeep, more damage, etc., etc. And um, again, the Tome of the Horde will also incentivize us to use a number of tier one units. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. So, like, tier 1 units are cheaper by 20%, etc., etc. Things of that nature. So, that's the intent. Now, along with the society traits, I felt like this one, the Umbral Disciples, was pretty cool. I like how it makes us look. Um, I also like a number of things. I'm going to try playing the Story Realm, because I do like playing the Story Realms. And my understanding is that this will be useful in that realm. I also like that this society trait, if I can get it to stay popped up. There we go. It gives us a free summon at the beginning of combat, which is also a tier one. Come here. There we go. So it's a tier one. And then later on, when we go over our hero, leader, I guess I should say, I'll show you how that comes into play. But um, also, again, this is from Eldritch Realms, and I want to try it. So as I said already, we're going Tome of the Horde to start. Now we're going to do a Wizard King, because as you may have seen, using Force March actually costs mana. 50 I think. Oh, excuse Yes, 10 mana per unit in the army. So, I felt like the Wizard King would be actually be probably the best leader due to our increase in mana income. So, that's what I'm going to do. And then here we go to the uh, appearance of our hero. So, Give a quick once around so you can see the helmet, the helmet specifically. I don't think there was any other um, outfit pieces that were awarded for the purchase. I think it's just the helmet, but it does look pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, if you watched my previous campaign, you'd know that my ruler in that campaign started with a lance which is unfortunate in the sense that the lance of glory here is the item the weapon that i obtained for making this purchase and i didn't really want to do just another lance ruler again Let's see if it's any good it's a charge attack I don't know if that damage is inherently good. It seems about normal. You get a mount and you get fighting. So, I mean, it seems 
relatively straightforward. Uh, so, anyways, what I chose was, where is it? It's one of the, here we are, a Pantheon reward, the Crowmaster's Bow. And I chose this, not only because you obviously get a bow, and I thought that looked kind of looked cool here and still thematic, but also because you get to summon a crow, which is another tier one at the start of combat. So technically our leader's stack will have eight combatants inherently, which when we're trying to do a large number of tier ones is a benefit, I'd say. And obviously there are other ways to uh, increase the number of tier one units that you can summon at the beginning of a battle something like the golem mine i believe is a province improvement that does that in your domain and uh, if i remember correctly there are other other ways of doing that as well so anyways let's take a look at the pegasus mounts they're pretty cool for what you can see here they have like an armored up helmet the wings are a bit tucked back here. Again, I don't know if they actually fly at all. Um, but they look pretty dark and brutal if you color them black the way that I have. And so, yeah, here we are. This is the Swarm Lord Augustus Corpser of the Locust from Jacinto. Many Gears of War references there. It's kind of what inspired me. So as I said, we're going to go ahead and do this story realm, which has some characteristics here. So the story is to escape a prison on the edge of the astral void, join a rebellion against its wardens, lead your people towards freedom, reveal a plot that will decide the fate of Athla and the astral sea. So we have Umbral Abyss which is the new map layer, basically, which is cool. And again, the R units hopefully will not be suffering from this umbral malady due to our society traits, so that should actually help make it a little bit easier. We have mega cities, so we cannot absorb, migrate, or settle new cities, so that's unfortunate. We get one city, basically, small underground and no free cities all right so we're basically on our own here not sure if a horde of tier ones is going to be particularly suitable for this but we'll see just going to go ahead and put it on hard and get started flooded the Astral Sea and invaded the world of Athla. After a fierce war, the invasion was defeated, and the monster, then known as Shadow Demons, were driven back into the shadows from whence they came. However, at the edge of the Astral Sea, the eternal conflict between the mythical Archons and Shadow Demons raged ever on and their dark corruption evolved. Even on the realms that were cleansed from their presence, dark scars remained that could never truly heal. Thus, this eldritch darkness was given a new name, the Umbral Abyss. On the precipice between the Void and Astral Sea, a realm lay hidden from the forces of light. Its name was Tharukat and it had long been lost to the Umbral Abyss. It was where captives and lost souls were imprisoned and twisted into Umbral demons, and where their ruling sovereign prepared to strike back at the body of Magehaven. Tharukat was a place of darkness and abandoned hope, and yet, amidst the despair of its forsaken thrall, whispers of rebellion echoed through the air. 
they prayed only a beacon to guide them. A god who has released them from their captivity and set ablaze the flames of revolution. This is the tale of the imprisoned Godur who bore that spark of rebellion. Alright, let's do this. Okay, pretty straightforward. So we're going to start with Song of the Reckless, Berserk, Strengthened, and Fury of the Horde. Okay, that's pretty good. So again, like our two summons there that we get in every battle, we can hit them with a Strengthened, along with our other units, of course. So here we see Eldritch Prison. You slumber. There is nothing, only darkness. You cannot move. Who are you? Who were you? It does not matter. All right, so we get to make a choice here. The shadows push you to find yourself, to find what defines you. It is important. Oh, okay. You are important. All right. Who were you? How were you trapped? So we can gain the feed on chaos trait. Oh, so it basically makes us a Chaos Eater, a Tier 3 or Tier 4 creature. We can gain the Spell Thief trait. 10 combat casting points when a hostile combat spell is cast. Or we can just rank up. Um, I think let's just just rank up here okay awakening I'm not going to read all of this since we want to get into the game okay so someone is breaking us out basically cool let's go we are currently in the umbral abyss a place that poisons the body and mind one can only leave through Umbral Gates. I have marked the one I used before. All right. So here we are. Leveled up. Let's see what we got going on. Watchful. Summon Grimbeak Crow. That's sweet. We're going to just start with... Oh, what is this? When a base attack triggers a critical hit. Mm. Oh yeah, that's like the um, the Barbarian's innate trait. When this unit kills, gains hit points and strengthened damage and accuracy. Well, those are all pretty good. I think I'm going to start just with some damage. Hopefully we don't get hit a ton as an archer. So, we'll see. Jacinto was lost. Let's set our research. Uh, we have no knowledge right now, but we can at least choose. I think we're going to do the spawnkin. Orders required. So, what do we got here? We got this dude. He's got a, a mage lock, which is cool. These were also, from my understanding, kind of reworked. Yeah, where they only take one action point to fire but you basically have to take aim every turn um, which means you can't move or do anything and use this or else this has really bad accuracy so it's going to be interesting and then we have warrior sunderer two pathfinders okay oh uh, so here's the Umbral Malady. They're taking damage each turn, but I am not, and my uh, cultural units are not. Cool. So, yes, now that I'm the leader, they won't take the damage, so that's good. Let's take these two in here. 
and oh look at this okay so that's a pretty serious stack there tormented souls husks of formerly powerful beings mana and knowledge if available also grants souls okay cool let's move out this way I see something okay beacon of light sanctuary outposts okay so they're basically our outposts ah yes here we go in the umbral abyss okay not a huge concern to you if you have the umbral malady uh immunity but good to know what is this chitness growths wow plus 30 gold it's pretty good what is this a banner ah experience okay so we don't want our scout to get that so this seems to be a bit of a tutorial because there's a ton of stuff going on. An umbral nest. Okay, so it's basically like a spawner. Pretty strong. Good to know. And look, yeah, we can already do force march, I believe. Oh, we can't. Oh, because we don't have enough mana. Sure. Makes sense. So let's just head up this way hopefully this does not oh that's not too strong okay I was gonna say hopefully this does not attack us but okay so get our experience level up again what is Keen Edge? Plus 20 critical chance. Okay, so that's pretty good to uh, go ahead and use with the Brutal Mark. Increasing our chance for that to activate. Let's just do the crit chance first, I think. Oh, and it does fly. Okay, so it is a flying. Yeah, it's a flying with 48 movement, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Cool. So we'll go ahead and just move. Oh, you know what? Can we get this gold? Yeah, we can. Cool. Okay, so this... Oh, look at There's a button now that shows you it goes to the surface. And that shows you goes to the umbral plane 525 okay that's pretty significant let's level this guy up looks like he already has archery that's cool let's do sprint for right now I want to, yeah, get archery to eagle eye, all that stuff. Killing momentum. Oh, wow, okay. So this, one action point. So this will allow you to fire the mage lock again. So if you kill somebody with this, and you have killing momentum, yeah, physical ranged attack, so it'll allow you to fire again. That could be very good. Very good, because the mage locks are generally very strong. Okay, so I guess we'll just wait here. Get this chest. What do we get? Ring of flanking. Plus 25% damage when flanking. Pretty good. I guess we can just give it to him, Augustus, probably going to be a bit more mobile than Zwentiwan, Zwentiwan, Zentwiwan, it's an interesting name, all right, let's come here, I think, 
I'm actually gonna wait. Five ninety nine. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the additional scout. I think. Not gonna take any chances. Again, we're not losing any health. So, it says low risk battle, but I don't know if I believe that because there's some, this looks like a, it is, it's like a dire penguin from hell. <laughs> That's hilarious, as if they could get any more evil. Hysteria storm. Oh, insanity, that's not good. Yeah, insanity is pretty strong. Okay, well, let's just see for our own sake. Yeah, we got, we got hurt pretty hard there. So let's go ahead and see if I can fare any better. Alright, now, if I remember correctly, doesn't this thing, like, how do I open it? There we go. I want to say, when it dies, yeah, it summons the little guys. That sucks. And then, doesn't the umbral taint, like, oh, okay. Oh, well, this won't matter for us, basically. But yeah, it's going to create little little dudes when it dies. I remember in one of the dev streams, I watched all the dev, the dev streams. That's generally what I actually have time to do, is watch the dev streams. And they're all very funny and fun people, the Triumph Studio developers. But I remember... He, hearing about those dudes, that they were pretty good. Okay, so we have a crow and a spitterling. What is this? Oh, okay. Undo movement. So, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's, you know, that's cool. It's not nothing. We have here explosive. Okay, so we can blow these up. Interesting. Good to know. Now, we don't really have much in terms of, like, shield units. Well, I guess we do. We have a shield unit and a polearm unit, so that's not too bad. Let's move up to, like, here. this umbral drain oh so they deal damage and heal life great base 100 chance of being consumed oh, okay so they basically like steal something and then this dude has all that okay Okay, okay. Hopefully we can get some of our little... ...dudes that, uh, will get every... ...every battle to, um, tank some of this damage for us. And okay, so they can't... Can't reach that spot, so we can move these up here. I wonder if we move you here, if they can, yes, they can get up in here. That way. Can make a nice little line. Get our ranged up here. And hopefully not die. Alright. Not too bad. 
so this is yeah all friendly tier one units so that's basically everything except the pole arm so cool yep and it gets our little guy the spiteling i think it's called and the crow so great definitely definitely worthwhile i think so the question is do we focus on this guy he was pretty strong but these guys he didn't abduct anybody so that's good but he probably will and then this guy what did he do umber in exile for one turn took damage well, that's not too bad what's this gonna do oh that's the big one that's not good yeah and look at it's got Good chance of hitting us. Can he use it? Uh, no, can't be used in our zone of control. So as long as we get somebody up into there, we'll be okay. Question is, who do we send up there? I think maybe the Spiteling. So if we just put it here, now it can't use it. And we'll hit the Abductor, because I'm actually more concerned about him abducting somebody, I think. Okay, I can get some good flanking damage in on him though, but then he's just gonna spawn. Spawn the little guys. Where are they gonna go? I wonder if there's like no room for them to be placed. Like, where do they go? That's an interesting question. Well, let's find out, I guess. Because he's surrounded, right? There's one spot right there. Oh, maybe we can stun this. 66%. Did it get it? Yeah, it did. Okay, good. Oh, and now we have the Ceaseless Cacophony. So we're getting the Fumble Chance on all these dudes. So that's good. Oh, no. Okay. I thought it was going to crash there for a second. I used to have problems with this game crashing like all the time but it hasn't been an issue in a while so okay yeah we definitely don't want to do that although we could potentially blind it let's just um hammer it with some arrows here and then this that's not particularly strong oh sunder defense yeah, let's do that. Maybe that'll give us enough to finish it. Because, yeah, so right now, hit chance is only 25%. So let's see what we get when we take aim. Now it's 100% because we got plus 80% accuracy. So that makes sense. So let's blast this dude. See what happens. Boom. Okay, so it made one where he died. Did it make any more? Yes, it did. Okay. No, it didn't. No, it didn't, because that's mine. And that one was already there, I think. Okay, so basically, if you can surround this guy, it'll only make one instead of three. Because it still makes one on the spot where it died. That's okay. That's not too bad. It's a neat little trick, I guess. So, what is this? Over channel. Oh, okay. Well, it's a little late for that. I don't think I need to worry about that. Can you kill this thing? No, but you could potentially blind it. That could be useful. Let's do it. No. Resisted. Okay, we have a 60% chance to kill it. So... Yeah, let's do that. And, of course, we missed. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, 90% chance to hit here. Won't kill it. But that's okay. I think we're in a good space. Okay, it died. 
I think. Something just died. Or did my spitelings get killed? Oh. There's another one. Or splitterling. Excuse me. Yeah, so my splitterling got killed. And then it looks like another one was created. So maybe they just come out of the goop. Interesting. Damn, and now he's like totally available. So we gotta move in on him. My crow is still alive. Ah, so maybe... Yeah, we can fly over him. What is this? Oh, it's the rumble taint. We don't want to put the crow there because he will get hurt. But we can just fly here. Oh, maybe we can blind him. Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're still locking him down from using that miserable ability. So let's murder this. Now we can... 50% I think this is fine yeah we lose 5 damage but I think it's worth it we just gotta start murdering stuff yeah let's try not to get retaliations oh, you know what I should have done this again. I don't think that's going to be to our benefit. Mm. We only have 35 mana left. Eh, it's fine. Plus one strengthened. Do I actually... Do I still have it? Yeah, okay. So let's do it again. I know we already attacked with some of these dudes, but it's all good. They're pretty weak. What can our hero do? Can't kill him. One shot. That sucks. Man, these dudes are tough. Yeah, I really don't want the retaliation. He could one-shot one of these things. Oh, he could do a bunch of damage. Look at how much damage he's doing compared to everything else. It's also because they have fire weakness, though. So. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Let's blast this. Grazed. Ugh. You sicken me. That's the problem with those guns, though. Okay. Shoot. More grazing. But, yeah, okay. We can at least kill this now. Good. Probably don't want to run our skirmisher way up. But we can do this. And I think we can kill that. Yeah. Cool. So, we're getting there. Oh, the crow has decaying. So that sucks. Uh-oh. Crow's down. That's fine. Night guard are okay. Oh, no. They're about to take 30 frost damage if there's an adjacent friendly unit. Okay. So as long as I keep somebody next to him, which I do, that'll be all right. These things, so we did. We got three of them because it made another one. So there's no way of getting away from it, basically. Okay. That's pretty strong. Hmm. Thirty-five. Okay, we'll move up. Go. Oh. 
fifty percent. It's not great. Guess we can move over here. Another graze. Miserable. Oh, and now I can't reach it. That's okay. Um, just whip that. Grazed again. Jeez Louise. That is not good. All right, we'll take the two damage. That's fine. Ooh, 25% to kill this. That would be really nice because of the strength and, and the flanked. Hmm. I think I'd rather just go for the sure thing, though. All right. Ow. Blast this dude. Yeah. All right. Pretty good. What can we do here? Think. I have 90 hit points. Maybe I move here just to shut him down. I really don't want him to do that crazy hit everybody thing. So let's do that. I'll just stab him. Boom. All right. Oh my goodness, more. Holy moly. Yeah, so that was serious. That thing is gnarly, that juggernaut. Because we got... We definitely got three. <laughs> that feels like it might have been even more, but it was definitely three. Okay, so... We're almost there, though. I bet we can finish this thing off. Oh, so close. Fine. I think we can do it. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Okay. Let's aim up. Blast this thing. Or we could one-shot this. I think I actually might want to one-shot this. Yeah, because this... Is that tying me up? No, I don't think it is. But... <clears throat> yeah, I just don't feel as threatened by this thing. Let's just blast him. Boom. Alright, cool. Maybe that was a huge mistake. But... What are you going to do? At least now I can run... Yeah, we'll run the skirmisher up. Just to get in his face. Maybe we even move the night guard back. Does this thing... Oh, it can't even attack. Yeah, I was. that was totally the right choice. Because look, it doesn't even have an attack. It's tough, but it, it doesn't attack. So, yeah, we can just beat this thing now. Did I just get health? I did. I got temporary hit points. I wonder how I did that. That's weird. Huh, okay. All right. Oh, look, there's more of them. Okay, so maybe we did just get the one from the Juggernaut, but they just keep coming. I wonder why. Maybe it's just part of the board. Normally, if there's like a board thing that goes on, it'll like be in the corner, but I don't remember seeing anything. Do we go for the 60% here? I don't think so. We have other, I have other ways of killing something like this. Because he'll, yeah, I mean, we can rip him up. There we go. Now we just keep plugging away on this thing. Yeah, and they keep getting health, and I'm not sure why. Oh, you know why? Because they're dark culture. And does this thing have weakened? Yes, okay. So that's why. 
Yeah, which is different. That's a rework too. Because it used to be like if you attacked with a dark culture against weakened units, you would get regeneration. But now it's literally just like a life gain. Yeah, call the weak, I believe it is. Yeah, I think that that's a change that they used to have uh, regeneration rather than you know, like a life-stealing effect, basically. And then, boom. All right. So. Did better than the AI. It's always good. Did we level up here? Nope. It's fine, I guess. Let's uh, go up top. Where are we going to go? Looks like there's a watchtower here, so maybe we go that way. Oh, okay. Step through the umbral gate and feel a breeze of cold air. You made it. Uh, I was uh, asked to escort you to our haven. Please follow me. Your people await. All right, we get some resources. Cool. What do we got here? Is that some mana? Yes is there knowledge will definitely be worth getting there's some gold okay so that must be a city two eighty five huh don't these things yeah I don't trust that I'm not gonna go do that right now we'll make our way this way and then we'll have the scouts pick up stuff. That's not what I want. What the? Here we go. Build outpost. Pathfinder. Really? Can they build outposts? I think that's new. I don't know, though. I'm not super familiar with the barbarian culture, so maybe they could always do that. Okay. What else do we got? There's some more stuff down here. There's more stuff everywhere, obviously, but I typically like to explore towards the edges of the board, because unlike Planetfall, which is basically it would keep going and start back at the top again, yes, there's like solid edges to the maps in Age of Wonders 4, and... I like to go to the edges and really see, like, where the world ends and get a feel for the surroundings, you know? Okay, unknown ruler, so there are other rulers around. We got some empire development, infestation, grants you a unit. I think we'll probably end up getting a lot of value out of that, given the fact that we only have, we're only going to have a, our one city. There it is, Jacinto. But right now, actually, what I'm probably going to do with this Imperium is use it to boost the population, since we only... Only have the one city, we don't have to worry about building more. 260. We could probably take this. Is there anything crazy going on here? Zealots and a Dusk Hunter, so not really. Could probably auto this. And our Pathfinder was killed, of course. I should have just not even had it come to the the battle, honestly. Although I think I needed the, to initiate the battle, but... Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. The AI is not particularly good at fighting battles for you. Right.
Do we have any kind of replenishment? No. So the only thing we can do is basically set up some weakened enemies and then try and get them to regain some life that way. Which is fine. We can also probably get through this battle without really using them, so I'm not super worried about it. Yes, defense mode. Yeah, that seems to be the only ranged threat. These guys look like they're coming around for a flank. Oh, pretty strong, four and four. What do we look like? One and one, zero and zero, three and two. Yeah, so I mean, you know, they've got some cheats, but that's fine. I'm gonna just use this. Might have to kind of tank with our skirmisher there, which is not great, but these guys are kind of far off. Maybe we can get, there we go, get our splitterling in there. Ah, but he's weak because they have spirit damage, so that's unfortunate. I'm just going to go ahead and block, I think. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Got the Sundered Defense. Where is our warrior? Oh, is this our warrior? Yep. Doi. Okay. Well, if we can... Is this on a cooldown? Yeah, it's not a bad one, though. Okay. Let's go for the stun. Boom. Now... Oh, did I already put him in defense mode? Yeah, I did. Whoops. That's okay. Just... Get some more grazes, of course. Yeah, these dudes are actually... They're so tanky, and that's what's going to be the real problem. 75, I think I'll go for that. Yep, okay. But yeah, the problem is that they're tanky, and the spirit damage is going to be a problem as well. Let's see. Do we want to go for the blind here? It's only 30%. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Oh, resisted. Oh, what are you going to do? I think we'll just... Oh, he can get hit there. Wow, these guys can move pretty far, huh? Alright, we move one step back. Okay, that way, oh, I don't have enough points to move, or am I already looking that way? Nope, I'm definitely not. That was strange. Okay. But if they run up, we can come in. Since they're weakened. Alright, cool. And we at least got the blind there. Well, the crow's dead. What are you going to do? But now, because they are weakened, yeah, we'll get some health back. So, move around this way. And. Slippery, yes. Although they already used their retaliation, right? Oh, and they have defense attacks. Jeez. All right. Oh, look. So I can actually move here with sprint. Oh, because it gives you plus eight movement. Okay, and that's basically a point. Cool. So you can actually move one step, aim, and blast a fool. Nice. See ya. Uh, I like that. It's a terrible hit chance. 
Okay, none of our tier ones have attacked yet, so let's go ahead and throw this down again. Let's see if we can get the 40%. Oh, we hit ourselves. Oh, and strengthened was removed. Annoying, because the weakened from the pursuer, huh? Well, what are you going to do? There we go. Little Pathfinder. Finish him off. Now. Yeah, let's get in here and pressure the archers. These guys can get in here. Block the zealots. Augustus does not have great chance of hitting. Alright, we need to move so we can get the skirmishers in here or do we want to just oh we definitely have to move up for that yeah okay we'll just do it like this man these grazes are crazy it's not just me right like i'm just grazing like crazy that's wild all right not bad though not bad okay splitterling goes down hero takes a hit okay not too bad. Let's see if we can, yeah, get some weakened. Nice. So now this will seven damage, so we'll get a tiny bit of replenishment. Hmm. All right go now we're pretty much pretty much set here I think might not even have to worry about him man these dudes are hard to hit why is their hit percent so low oh because they're in the foliage makes sense Let's see if we can get it no that's fine we got it here Boom. All right. <laughs> That's funny. All right, cool. Got some gold. Good. Levels up. Signature skills. This looks very interesting. The um, the new skill trees and, and such that they're going to be implementing uh, with the Ways of War expansion and the accompanying patch. Uh, which they went over in the stream from the other day. Looks very interesting. Uh, okay, so let's see here. For now, what are we going to do? I think it's probably going to be... Hmm, that's actually not too bad because I have very basically no replenishment, but it's a full three points. I think it's actually going to be this just for the damage. And because, again, like as an archer, I'm not really worried about um, taking too much damage, ideally. Okay, so let's see. I think we're going to do the brutal mark. Base attack triggers a critical hit. Yep. Let's go for that. This guy, pretty much the same thing, I think. Critical chance. The brutal mark, the bloodlust, bloodlust might be even better with him because again, if you get the um, killing momentum, you could potentially till, uh, kill two dudes in one turn, so that could be good. I think we'll do the keen edge, right? Because that's uh, that was just all attacks, right? Not melee. Yeah, just 20% critical chance. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so can't get anywhere to Jacinto. I don't think we're going to waste. Yeah, 60 mana for a full stack. I don't think that's worth it. I think we'll send nope, him up towards that tower. Oh, we have a spell. Ritual of the Gloom Veil. All units in your empire gain the Umbral Malady immunity. Okay, so that's basically um, 
like anyone that's not cultural. Oh, he, yeah, because like this dude, these dudes have it because they are in my army right here, I think. Or the uh, Gloom Shepherd, right? So because he's the leader, everybody's okay. But if it wasn't for him, then right, this Siron, this Siron, and this Siron, they would have been taking the damage in the gloom. So, point being, this spell basically gives anything that I control that immunity, which is pretty good, but it is 300 to cast and 30 per turn, which is a lot. So I am not in a position to consider that right now. What is this? Is that mana? Yes. So let's go. And yeah, these Pegasus, uh, having now seen that they fly, that's very good. Because it's basically the equivalent of like the eagle mounts. Which, obviously, being eagles, will fly. Um, which I always wanted to try. Uh, for an army, but never again haven't played really. Although I'm pretty sure those actually came out in the Primal Fury expansion. What is this? Oh, Creature Cage. Um, I just haven't. Again, other than the campaign with the Coil Fang um, Lizard Folk, I have not had the chance to play. So let's go ahead and get to Jacinto. So barren ashlands and umbral gates make way for forests and a city hidden in a valley. Okay. Throne awaits, gets settled, gains a population. Cool. Wow. All right. First thing we do, give it that whispering stone. Now, let's see what we got here. Three population. Quite a few choices. Oh, an ancient wonder right there. Ah, there's the Chaos Eater I was talking about. It is a tier four. Okay. Yes, and the Consume Chaos ability, which is pretty good if you've got, you know, got it set up because it's all adjacent enemies. And if you remove a number of statuses from each of them, it can do a ton of damage. And. Thus, also heal you very extensively. So, let's see here. There's haste berries, which is what? Draft? That could be very good. Shrine is boosted. What do we need to boost some stuff? Forester. Farm. Farm. Okay. Yeah, let's see where the special stuff is. So what's this? Archon blood? Okay, mana. That's good. Haste berries. Iron. What's this? Rainbow clover. Okay. it's going to be a farm and a forester we want draft we need to start making a bunch of little guys and we want knowledge and the production won't hurt we've got positive income question is which one do we do first gold vein where is the gold vein oh it's right there I think we're going to do like Forester, Farm, Forester. Because I know once you get to tier two, there's some stuff. It's like the, a pyre, some sort of pyre improvement I think you can make that gives you like mana based off of how many Foresters you have or something like that. Let's see if I can check real quick. I think it's. See, 
cultural units. Here we go. Structures. Yeah. City structures. Let's see. I don't think it's from a tome. Let's see if I can find it. Is it this? No. Tithe shrine. Feudal. Town halls. Wizard's Tower. Is this it? Primal. Industrious. Huh. Signify foot. Bar. Barbarian. No? Nothing? Interesting. Oh, is this it? Forest of Stakes? Yeah, okay, right. Food, production, and plus seven draft per adjacent forester. And I could have sworn, like, maybe it's a chaos one. Ritual pyre, is that it? Yes, mana and mana per adjacent forester. Sure. Okay, so we got there. But anyways, point being, we need some foresters, but I do need a farm just to boost the workshop. City stability is not great. There's no way to improve it. Uh, until we reach tier 2, as far as I can tell. So yeah, let's do the production. What is this? 265. Alright, we can beat him. So we'll do the... F Food and production. We'll do Forester. And attract. Ooh, fishing ground. What is this? Tier 3. Oh, yeah, they're pretty strong. That's. Sucks that they're on a fishing ground because I could use the. Uh, the food. But we're going to just do a forester right there. Oh, there was something over here, too. Oh, Rainbow Clover. Oh, that he's on, though. Not, not too bad, actually, from what it says. Okay, so let's get the workshop started, and then we will do Battle Ritual. Oh, look, and that's already boosted to the Ancestral Seer Hall. Nice. I think we'll just... That's enough for now. And let's see. I still have the two Pathfinders, right? Do I need... More. There's one. Where is the other? Up there. I don't think I do. But we need to start getting a stack ready for this dude, I think. And if not for him, then somebody else. So let's do a warrior. Yeah, three turns. Okay. There is an infestation there. Do I want to put... A hundred... Imperium into that yet? Maybe not yet. Maybe like right before we go and beat it. I will do that. Let's see if we can auto this. Yes, all right. Good. Frostbringer, a lance, okay. Not any use to me currently, so wait. And let's... Not worried about headed this way yet. So let's just head south. All right, and there is the Astral Sea, basically the void. Kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft. 
uh, the Burning Crusade, specifically when, you know, when you're in Outland, um, the remnants of the planet Draenor, oh, got another thing going on. So after settling in, once again approached by that dude to liberate our people, we must open the gate of Tharukov is the only way to freedom. Okay, so we need to wizard. He may have left knowledge behind. Okay, desertion, formative allies, a prisoner who was used to control the world gate. Only the wardens know how to open the gate. So we need to investigate the wizard, find the deserter, free a prisoner, and then defeat or negotiate with a warden. All right. Anyways, when you're in Outland, it's a planet that's been blown up and it's just kind of chilling in the void and you know, eventually you can get to places where you can see that. Even in, like, the Hellfire Peninsula, the very beginning. Once you can fly around, you can kind of see just empty void. Which I think is interesting. And they've kind of recreated that here, it appears. So, let's not... There's something up there. Let's not venture too far. Don't really want to... Oh, what is this? Cartographer, okay. Don't really want to run into anybody else as of yet wow 590 we are not particularly strong 415 these are the ranged ones too uh yeah poisoned 514 can we rush this dude 96 gold that's a lot 55 peels fire okay well let's go and check this out can we see oh it's only 3 210 that's pretty weak uh, of course there's another one there though on patrol, still not particularly strong, so that's not too bad. Ooh, a fire forged stone. Units cost 20% left draft. That is very helpful for what we're trying to accomplish here. So yeah, let me go ahead. I'm gonna just take this and see what happens. Something got blown up. Yes, great. Risky battle. That extremely foolish move on my part. Watch, and now we die. <laughs> How funny would that be? Yes, we certainly did die. All right, well, hopefully uh, I can pull us out of this one. A bit of a misplay on my part. Yeah. Not great. Nope. What are you going to do? Okay. There's the nymph. Let's move down this way, I think.
This thing is on a timer, isn't it? Yeah, it's only good for three turns anyways, so that's a bit unfortunate. But our crow is not. Just wait. Okay, well they're splitting up a little bit. Could be to our benefit. Let's actually run this thing up here just to try and keep them that way while we go this way. And uh, maybe we can take advantage of that. Try and lure them over a little bit. I don't want to run through the mushrooms. And that's fine. There we go. Yep. All right. So he did his job. Now we need to capitalize on that. Let's go ahead and power up. See what we can do. Let's let's see. Okay, so we could probably take that out pretty easily. So maybe we shield bash. Let's move here. Bash you. Boom. Okay. Let's see, we can only do this one more time with our casting points. So maybe we just do it again. Just to get as much damage out there that we can, as quickly as we can. I'm gonna do this. And let's try and kill whatever we can. Oh my goodness, so close. So close. Let's see, maybe we come in here. You know what? No, we're gonna come here. We're gonna smack this. And then we'll have the crow finish it. Boom. Okay. Because, yeah, he was probably gonna resist the blind anyways. So now... We're at a super disadvantage here because they're in foliage. Well, he's in foliage. He's not, but he's still real hard to hit. So let's sprint, I think. I think we're just going to... Where's a good position? 45%. I think that's fine. Just to get him in a better position. Anyways, we get a graze. That's fine. We need to... Make sure we don't leave anybody vulnerable. Now it looks like there's... A, a board ability here. Oh, that's just the over channel, which is not a big deal. Pursuer can shoot. Kind of screwed myself here, letting them get into all this foliage, but hopefully it will also be to our benefit from these ranged attackers. Oh boy, okay. So there's the replenishment. Did a little fumbling, still was able to take the crow. And now they're going to start collapsing on us, which is not good. But it's just the way it goes. Okay. Let's see. So what I want to do, I think I'm blasting over here. Or if he's in the way. I think so. 60% to kill there. 
know what? Maybe we just blast here. Because it's a higher chance. Yeah. And then we can do this. Yeah, we're not going to risk Night Guard there. What we will do is bring him up here to try and support the warrior. Now the question is, yeah, do we risk 73 hit points to try and tie up this nymph so we don't get seduced? It's 12 right there. I think we do just because I really don't want anybody getting seduced. I might regret it, but... I don't really think these Sunderers are particularly good anyways. We got a critical hit. So that's good. Well, ended up doing it anyways. Well, that's fine. Now look, it's gonna like be super good against me. We gonna make it? Oh no. Jeez. Okay. Well. This is looking bad this is looking bad <laughs> oops sorry that was a little loud all right well great missed two out of three times yeah look at they're all just in the in the foliage really yeah not good here but maybe now we can yep take him out are we gonna get replenishment yes Okay, no retaliation, so that's good. Do I even risk taking a shot here? I feel like I need to kind of move back, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even shoot anything. Nope, just end the turn. Oh no. Well, that's not good. That is not good. Was it the Sunderer that literally just killed my leader after I talked about how I didn't like them? That is pretty funny. Pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Okay. Oops. So, I don't think I'm going to win. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose. Let's go into defense mode there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely going to lose. All right. Well, that's crazy, but that's what happens. You know, you make a sloppy move on the strategic map, and then pff, you get overwhelmed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I mean, I could just stop playing. I don't really know if I'm going to have time to ever really continue this campaign between now and when the new expansion comes out, and I am kind of, you know, interested in wanting to play that too, but um, maybe I'll just reload and not make that really stupid move and see where we go. So hang tight, and I'm just going to reload earlier into the turn. Go ahead and skip that. Now let's try and handle this a bit better. Yes, so should have known there was more here. Just kind of rushed into it foolishly. Anyways, moving on. Here we go. Border of the Outland. Let's see what we've got. Just some nodes and stuff. A 
That's cool. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I'd rather go this way. Yes, and there was the cartographer. So we'll grab that. I do still want to get this, but maybe just given the circumstances, I won't invest in it right now. Yeah, we really can't afford to grow extra quickly. So maybe what we do instead is... Do we wait three turns or do we spend 90 on a hero? Let's spend 90 on a hero and get another one. So let's see. Animal trainer. Oh, here we go. Adjacent enemy units have a base 60% chance of gaining misfortune. That synergizes well. I think that's what we're going to go with. Bow the bear. All right. You're pretty cool looking. And with the ceaseless cacophony, that is pretty strong. That's a pretty strong combination. Oh, already got some blight damage on the weapon. Do we want to give you a lance? No. I think you're going to be tanky. That makes the most sense. So we'll keep you the way you are. And let's replace you in here with somebody. I think because we have those range units, I really, despite being killed by a Sunderer, I guess, am still not particularly um, a fan of them. So let's just switch him out. Because hero stacks are the way to go anyways if you want a power game. At least that's how they used to be. Uh, don't they have, like, a leadership clash ability, too, though? Is it up here? Because it used to be a... They implemented a penalty. Hero. Interesting. I know they had a debuff for a while to basically disincentivize having stacks full of heroes, but... You know, that was mainly in, like, multiplayer, where they're really strong and hard to counter. And, um, that's not what we're doing. So, I don't really have an issue with it. Maybe I can actually scout with you a little bit and pull... Oh, I don't see anything. I wonder if it's patrolling. Is that it down there now? Do we risk it again? <laughs> no, because look, when we hover, it says it's a risky battle. So we're not going to do that. We just need to wait to get some of these tier ones rolling. Tower of Torment, that's cool. What's this? Not sure. I like to look for watchtowers. I don't see any really over here, but that's okay. Just keep going. And still got a little replenishment to go. Do we wait or do we go kill something? 460, 420. It's a low risk battle. No, I, because we can't move back now, can we? No. So I'm going to wait just to, yeah, protect that unit in case something does come up at us. Yep, here it comes. That's fine. That will be easy. Yes, probably took more damage than we needed to, but doesn't bother me. Infestation has invaded my domain. Oh, that's down in the Umbral Malady. Right, that's what it's called. Umbral Abyss, excuse me. So these nests have expanded to incorporate that sanctuary. Here's the actual underground, which we can get to right there. Not that I really want to. I've never really been a fan 
of the underground myself. Okay, this dude now has signature skill. I'm going to take this because if you've been playing this game at all for a while or know anything about it, you know that this is just very good. Because it can heal and it can revive and it's uh, really good. So let's see, we got the crit, yes, the keen edge. So let's go ahead and get the brutal mark. Try and really load up the burst damage there. Now, having thinned that stack out a little bit. I do feel more comfortable just coming in and we can just start murdering here. Okay. And now we can definitely go ahead. Oh, we already took this. Nice. Okay. What's this? Ah, the seafaring. Now let's see. What is this guy? Really? He's probably got some like water elementals camouflaged there if I had to guess. But I would like to go kill him and get that fishing ground at some point. Let's just come up here. Shouldn't be a problem. Looks like there was one guy hidden there too, but we killed him. Another lance. Got some food, so that's good. What did we get? Did we not get anything? Oh no, did I not take the skill? Oh, I didn't take the skill. I thought I had taken it, but I didn't. Well, that's foolish. As you can see, haven't played in some time. And it is showing. Not that I played like super perfectly in my previous campaign, but I would argue not. Not this bad. Never died. That's one thing. Never died, but maybe in the long run it won't be a big deal. We get another warrior going. And really, I mean, I don't see any more infestations yet. So, a hundred Imperium for one unit, as of now, not a huge payoff. So, that's fine. Let's level up some more, I think. Oh, this guy. Okay, so this guy. We want to... The Bloodlust will still be good if he kills, but I don't anticipate him killing that much. What is this? Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, boosts up the tier ones. Good. That's something we can hopefully get on our leader. We'll just do some defense for now. Yes, let's see. Yes, the Battle Seeker training. Although, currently, we only have two tier ones. Well, that's not true. We also have the two summons, so that is four. A total of four tier one units in our stack. So let's go for it. And we can see if that if um, that benefit does translate to the summons as well. I want to kill this to get this, yeah, the draft benefit. I mean, there's just lots of good stuff going on around here. We produce the workshop, so that's good. The ritual battle site, knowledge and draft. We need another farm if we want the Stonemason, which I'm not sure if I do right now. Production's always good, of course. But I think right now the draft is actually more important, and the knowledge is certainly important. We still have positive income. So, let's see what lies out this way. Is that a Valor? It is. And a Phoenix. What are you guys blocking? Haste berries, I see. Yes, that actually 
is probably what we should do next is go up after these haste berries because we can annex this province literally next turn rather than you know I mean it would take well two acquisitions in order to get the fire forge stone but again that's what our Imperium I think is gonna be used for mostly since we don't have to worry about building another city tier 1 units gain experience faster yes let's do that spells ready to cast yes spawn kin Sanctuary outpost lost. Look at that. They took it over. Oh, so that negatively impacted our income. These dudes are like super tough though, right? Oh, 416. That's not too bad. What about this guy? 788. Oh, he's got one of those things. And look at this thing. Umbral Tyrant. Cthulhu. Style floating hellspawn. Oh wow, that's 30 damage. Deals 10% damage per friendly unit with Tyrant's Mark. What does Tyrant's Mark do? Hastened. Great. Great, great, great. Yeah, so they're pretty good. They're pretty strong. Gonna be a minute before we uh, can challenge that I think so yeah we want the haste berries here and then is this a farm right yes so we're gonna do the forester some growth and production what do we research now the brutal mark savage strike for everything well compared to these two which are basically yeah we already have very fast movement I think on our scouts or maybe not maybe they're only 40 instead of 48 which is yeah the very fast that's fine we'll do the brutal mark and yes it is 40 movement which is enough for me let's come out here towards the edge oh and there is a watchtower there so that's cool and then yes we head back this way now what I can do actually let's do this and then let's try this how do I use the ritual of alacrity because oh there it is right there 50% hit points 100% move points and remove exhausted from forced march the city or outpost has a three turn cooldown before it can use this again cool so let's do that we're gonna use force march it's gonna take 60 mana but that's fine oh wow look at they have 69 uh, movement points so you can go over your maximum here as you can see because they weren't at zero and they took damage because they are not our cultural units same thing here for some reason this guy didn't but we have the exhausted. So now we use this. Everybody's fully healed. Nobody is exhausted. And we are free to go murder this. Oh, combat enchantment. Hasten, swift, and slippery. Okay, so not as easy as I had hoped. But hopefully we just kill him. Yes, good. Good, good, good. So that's going to improve our draft income. We're up to 57. Good. Cool. Now, this dude looks relatively easy. 405. 425. Oh. Not, uh, not uh, 
quite as easy as I thought. But that's fine. We'll go that way. We can wait. Got some more levels. This is our tank dude. Let's do fighting. And our gun dude. Let's do the eagle eye. All right. Haste berries. Cool. Just move around a little bit. Can't move anymore. And that is it. All right. Got our warrior. Oh, and we can annex another province already. That is nice. So now, what do we have here? The Archon Blood, which is mana, so that's good. Although, this is Draft Reduction and Production, so I think I'm actually going to move down that way. What can I build to boost something? We need, a, mm, we need a research post, but I'm not super worried about that. We need two quarry to boost the blacksmith. Two farms. Oh, you know what? Really, what we should do next is go tier two. It's only four turns. Hmm. Two farms. Sure, we'll build the farm here. We'll do the let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, we're probably going to need the tavern, which will be boosted just as well. Then we can do the stone mason, I think. There we go. So we're all queued up for a while. One turn per warrior now, which is good. Can we just hurry this? Yeah, 24 gold. That's fine. All right, so... We're all squared away there for some time. Let's go ahead. I think we'll be able to support from inside the settlement limit, so that's good. Cool. And this will hopefully be easy. Yes. All right. Back inside. Is this the experience stash, it looks like? Something like that. A banner, perhaps. Okay. So yeah, just kind of filling out our map. Is this another watchtower? No, I don't think so. Something. I don't recognize the silhouette, but it's definitely something. Okay, might actually need to fly out here a little bit just to finish filling that up. And then these dudes, let's see, 526, 435, 425. I guess we'll move over here next, take out the Chaos Eater, Spawnkin is ready. So that's good. Make our people or our bugs itty bitty. More like the bugs we are. Look at now I'm a dinky little freakazoid. You see, you know, they're like midgets now. They're dwarf. Short people, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, look at that. Funny. Not quite as um, 
you know, intimidating looking anymore, for sure, but that's all right. Anyways. Oh, interesting. Find the Chaos Eater to me. Oh, it is like a tier four. It's a lot of mana, though. Alignment. I think I would rather just kill them. Get the experience. Rally and fortune. Alright, well, hopefully we'll just kill him. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, a dire bear mount. Okay. Oh. I don't think that is going to be of use to me. Although, does it very fast cavalry and 40% damage against units in defense mode. Mm, no, I think I'll just keep the Pegasus. Actually. Let's see. None of these are particularly helpful. I think it's either summon animal or summon undead. I think we're going to do... The undead. I mean, actually, this could be beneficial. Friendly units in a one hex radius, because we are kind of doing the whole buffing thing. Sure, let's get it. It's kind of thematic, I guess. And I think I'm going to do yeah, Sentinel. Makes him good at sitting there and tanking. And here, we're going to do the Eagle Eye. Now, actually, now that I think about it, the bow itself, yeah, does not do the crow summoning. So if I wanted to at some point, I could change it out for a different kind of ranged weapon. I think I would still do ranged, but maybe... If I were to acquire a mage lock for him, I would do that. But, okay, so I think I'm going to... Oh, there's an umbral nest, okay. So that is going to need to be destroyed. I see what's out here. Is that it? That looks like it. This dude looks cool. Oh, it's a... Druid of the Druid of the Cycle. Here's a guy on a oh a tyrant knight on a Raptor mount. That's cool. Yeah, I want I need to come back this way to clear this up so I can see everything. Okay. What next? Still just kind of clearing our immediate vicinity. I think this 526, 440. Okay, we'll go and harass the lower, weaker unit. Let's see, this is, does it show how much longer the cooldown is? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's fine. All right. Ancestral Seer Hall is complete, which was what? Knowledge and Draft. Good. That is good. So now we're working on the Tier 2, and then we'll get the Tavern. Let's get another Warrior. Okay, and yes, we can initiate. What is this? Areas and flammable obstacles are on fire. Well, that is fine. Should not be a problem. Oh my goodness, I guess it was, because two of our guys died. That is ridiculous. And unacceptable. Unacceptable. 
That is a lot of fire. Oh, and they are starting on fire. Well, that sucks. This guy is probably pretty strong. The uh, Magnum Spirit. So here's our tier ones, just kind of chilling. Let's just move up. Should be able to handle themselves well enough. I hope. Is my bird on fire? Yes. Why are you hanging out in a tree that is on fire? Seems like a poor decision. Just hanging out in the fire. Fire crows. I do like the idea of that. Crows that are on fire. This guy wants to just run through fire. Let's try not to do that, which is strange too because you're on a flying horse. Still gonna run through the fire. Strange choices. But we are, you know, anthropomorphic bug people tainted by the underworld. So it is a strange, strange way to be. All right. Makes sense grouped together, you get a bunch of fire thrown at you. Let's go ahead and buff our dudes. Gonna run run our summons out and try and use them to tackle these Powerful casting units while we kind of just punch these ones. Ah, oh, you know what? Instead of punching, let's stun. Oh, but it was resisted. That's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, we'll come up here. Give him the, yes, cacophony in addition to the other debuff now do I want to move closer wow I'm at a hundred percent if I moved there 60 if I move there so yes let's just come here now we aim now we blast this dude fire resistance also explains why we had some trouble because our fire damage is not going as far as we would like. Should probably move them up here. Put a little more damage into the pups. Okay, now. Augustus, what are you going to do? Let's, let's see, this is for three turns, so let's go ahead, buff ourself, do some damage. Hopefully, that will fumble its own attacks and potentially die from doing so. That would be good. We are going to come out and engage both of these. Let's see if we can get a bash here, even. Again, wants to move into the fire. Yes, okay, good. Maybe, can we throw this from here? We can. Good. And we cannot bash the pyromancer. That is fine. Let's come up here. Support with shield wall. Yeah, the burning is significant time oh 
Okay, Splitterling was killed. That's fine. Looks like the dire hellhound was killed in retaliation. Let's see. Let's try and blind this guy. Yes. Very good. Very good. And let's see. Do we want to do this? One hex radius, right? Yeah, not particularly good. But it's fine. We want to be in contact with things. This guy is already blind, so maybe we just come here. Get the cacophony and jinx combo going off. This guy is dead. We need to chase down this pyromancer. Maybe we can stun it. Yes. It's good. Let's see here. Not going to be able to close the distance here. Just fire everywhere. Oh, we can go this way without running through fire. Let's do that. I don't think we need to worry about this. We're looking pretty comfortable. Let's shoot this. Perhaps. Yes, they both have fire resistance. So. Oh, this also has regeneration, though. So maybe we just... Oh, look at that. Critical hit. Did tons of damage. Is there a damage log here? I want to say there is. Yes. Let's see how much that was. Is it up here? No. Here we go. So, fires the heavy mage lock. 22 and 20. It's a critical hit. Did 58 damage between fire, physical, and light. So that's 44. We did 58, which is an additional 12, 14 damage, excuse me. So that's pretty good. Additional 14 damage. See if we can kill this. No. Oh, that's fine. Now we will. Okay. Fly out here. Wow, look at that. 85% from all the way back here. From downtown. <laughs> Thanks to that uh, eagle eye. Get the extra range on there. All right. Stunned for the turn. So now we should be able to wipe him out relatively quickly. Oh, could have stunned him again there. I don't think it's necessary. And that's fine. We'll run through the fire. Good. Well done. That was quite a bit of production, so that's good. Okay, we cannot move any further. Or can we? Let's see. We could make it back with Force March. That would only be 40 gold, although still significant. Ritual of Alacrity still on cooldown. You know what I need to do is build some... So can I build an outpost? Look at that. Yes, the Pathfinder can build outposts. Is that an, a special skill? I need to check. Swamp Walk, Scout Unit, Road Walk, Mountain Walk. So what is it? Outpost Builder. There it is. This unit is capable of creating outposts. So, something I did not know about the barbarian culture, that their scouts can make outposts. That's very useful. Okay, now we are not going to build tier twos. Maybe, maybe we will build like one war shaman because they are quite good. 
from what I remember. The area heal plus strengthened plus regeneration is pretty good. So maybe I will make one to like accompany each stack. So we're eventually, I think, gonna split these guys into their own stacks and it'll be like the hero, a war shaman, and then four tier ones. I think that is pretty good, but maybe not if it's terrible, you know? I am open to um, being corrected in that regard because I never have really done a kind of swarmy trying to do all tier ones. Yes, this gets us gold for killing. Definitely do that. But point is, I've never done anything like that. So, maybe it's not good. Okay, this is a summon random non-scout tier one. Not a bad use of mana. Three fortune is critical hit chance. I think that is good because of the um, extra hit or extra damage we get when we do criticals. So that's pretty good. These are both good choices. It really comes down to, do I want to focus on getting more units via spending mana or get a buff, potential buff for combats? I think we will do this. Try and utilize the draft and know gold resources to build out our rosters while using mana for the force marching ideally and buffs in combat ah here's a question do I want to try and just come kill this thing no maybe not right now do I use this thing still and I really wish I could see like this has got to be the last turn right because that seems like it's taking a while okay warrior good war shaman is on the way let's just come here and we can actually just initiate this oh that stack won't be Involved, maybe. Can we make one space? It looks like we can. There it is. Okay. Oh, these are the ones that blow up? Yeah. Well, hopefully we don't get murdered. Oh, good. And we get some gold. That's good. So now this Archon Blood, 20 mana is good. Casting points is good will help that will all help so we're not quite here yet one more we'll get that next time we level up so do we get the archery for the damage or the bloodlust I think we'll do archery we want to just get get that damage up as much as possible for now okay Back to our stack here. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I don't think I want to go past this pass. It's like a nice cutoff where it's like, okay, from there down, I've seen everything. So let's come over this way and then start working our way over this way I mean this is where our objectives are obviously and then there's still this which wouldn't be a bad idea because this is a spawner raiding party going to emerge soon so that wouldn't be a bad idea to go handle still just trying to really build up our Is that silver tongue fruit growth and draft rainbow clover 
you know, these are all very good too, these magic materials, which is nice because I can come like build an outpost right next to them. However, they still need to be cleared. And really what I need to do is like plan where I'm going to go. So like this one would be a bad one. Bring the Pathfinder up here, build the outpost, and then have the unit uh, force march, come out, ritual of alacrity, force march again, so on and so forth. It's just going to be impeded by my mana. Uh, so maybe though I will turn around and have him or her come out here, build an outpost like here, and acquire this eventually. That seems like intelligent, intelligent move, potentially. All right, day 15. Oh, invading forces coming from here. I mean, this certainly looks bad. Oh, it's not too bad. How bad are you? You're not too bad. Look at this thing. Oh, Will Thief. Disturbing. Oh, have we fought this before? Yeah, we did. This thing. That drains you. Bless soul. Wonder how you wound up with them, huh, buddy? Umbral Mistress. Oh, look at her. Yeah, look. She's uh, got a face. And all crazy. Gratitude, enchant minds. Oh boy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Do we even care about this right now? For 90 mana to benefit two units. I do not think so. Do not think so. Okay, Jacinto. Fireforged Stone will give us production. And lower the draft requirement. I think we're going to go conduit here. Hmm. Tough call, really, because I need mana. What about up here? Rainbow Clover. Don't really need the growth that much. I do need the mana. Let's get the mana. Although we do have a positive income, we are burning through our mana using spells. I do need the mana to use the Force March effectively. So after this War Shaman comes out, then what do we get? Is it going to be another War Shaman? Just because we're getting close to like two stacks worth easily for you. Ah, that's the Sunderer. Because it's like, right, him... War Shaman. I don't know if I want four warriors, though. Maybe I need to get a Pursuer. Oh, the Pursuer is the Dark Culture, right? I have these Sunderers. Hmm. Maybe I need a... Can we get a ranged... Tier 1 Tome, perhaps? Let's see... Ranged tier one. We could get the is a pyromancer tier one. No, they're tier two. Uh, Magma spirit is a tier one. Houndmaster is a tier two. Yeah, so maybe the although this isn't necessarily going to always be a ranged unit. Oh, that can be produced in a city. Yeah, so that'll basically never be a range unit. So let's look at order. Zealot is a fighter. Chaplain is tier two. Was the Zealot tier two as well? No, tier one fighter. Okay. What did I do? take. Am I still on just my first tomes? Yeah, I am. Whew. Yeah, I guess my knowledge is only 80. That's not particularly good, huh? 
Although we started with nothing <laughs> when we were captured there, so it is what it is. But yeah, maybe we go into some zealots just to have some fighters for some damage. Although I suppose these aren't too bad, these Sunderers. The Javelin is okay. It does the Sunder defense. Uh, maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Okay, you can just... No, stay there. We need to go back into our domain and figure out where they're going next. I want you to come get this watchtower. Oh, that's not a watchtower. That's a creature cage. Oh, that's the watchtower. Yes, I did see a watchtower. Okay. Oh, no. The Thrall war Warden. You have heard the dreaded Shadakhar of Tharukath chitter about. Now you meet their leader, the Thrall Warden. Cease your struggle. Harmony awaits. Surrender your mind to us or fade into oblivion. Alright, so him and the cult leader Werlach have been alerted to my hidden city of Jacinto. Okay, well, great. There is an outpost. So... We're at war. We have not discovered his throne city. Okay, well, new objective then. Need to find and murder this dude. Let's go that way. And, hmm. No, we're not going to do that. I guess we're just going to head north now with our armies. Let's actually stay. Or do we go and try and manage this? Seems to be just a small... What is this? Oh, I can't see. Oh, yeah, there it is. That is the Tormented Souls. That's not a spawner. That's like where I came from, right? Yeah. So maybe I should go there first. Go into the Umbral Abyss first. Try and clear that out. How are we doing? 745. Heal up a little bit more. We could be in good shape. Get this guy out. And, um, okay. And then it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually get this. Maybe we get something cool. Let's see what happens. Infestation is sending forces from over here, it looks like. Okay. That could be good if our opponent has a lot of, this is worthless, roads. Roads should be good because our cultural trait allows us to move on roads even faster. I don't think we're going to use, look at, we're only getting 40 Imperium a turn too. I don't think we're going to be using building roads yet. And there are already some roads. So we're already moving efficiently. Okay, War Shaman. Let's go. So, oh, you know what? I actually want to stay there, I think. Yeah, maybe I should, just to get the replenishment. I think that is worthwhile. Vision of victory. Okay, and I guess it's going to be, you know what, maybe it's going to be the Wayfinder. No, we're not spending 70 mana. <laughs> that was an easy decision. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay. Rishturi, he is the leader. 
Pestilent Escape. Oh, that's from his beetle. Oh, he's got the spawn kin too, huh? Sword and or axe and shield. He's got some kit. Is this a heal? Oh, nope. Okay, status removal. All right, well, we will just sit here, I think. He can't catch us. So we're just going to have to camp and keep our eyes out over there in case we need to come back real fast from some aggression. And are we building? We're building. Let's, uh, we can rush that, get the stonemason going, and let's do another Sunderer. Funny, I was just talking so much shit about about Sunderers, and here I am. All right, where are you going, dude? You got your outpost. He's not going anywhere yet. Okay, so they're sending an invasion force from down here. That's fine, because that's where I'm going. That is where I am going. I think we're just going to leave them here. We're not going to move all our forces. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to put him in his own stack? Maybe put him in his own stack. Because I want... Hmm. You know what? Maybe... Just take the... No, that warrior is pretty helpful. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, we can't. Zero movement. Alright, the warrior will come out for now. Or do we force march? No, I think maybe we force march back. Once we're done, we'll do the force marching. For now, we're just rolling. Yeah. Sunderer can chill. This guy, we need to start looking. Let's come over here. Stay out of the patrolling area. Let's see what's up. So he did catch me. How did he do that? Oh, it's because he must have had more movement than the rest of his army, which is why he did it himself. Well, that's unlucky. What a jerk. Coming out here just to hit my freaking, uh, kill my scout. All right. Well, I have to come in here and do this manually to make him retreat and try and survive. Although, if the developers are to be believed in the new patch update, whatever you want to call it, this will automatically happen if you, uh, have a single scout unit versus an army caught by an army like this you can actually have them automatically retreat like this which is very useful now the question is do I turn around and try and catch him I think we do I think we turn around even with just our heroes, we could probably beat him. Even if we can't catch him with the whole stack. So I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. They definitely... Probably because of the mountainous terrain, too. So let's go... Here. Yeah. Where are you? I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, now we're of course going to just crush this guy, right? Alright, good. Oh, bitch. <laughs> You're going to punk me, dude. I don't think so. Okay, now... 286. The question is, do we risk... What do we got here? Arbalists and two Halberdiers. Yeah, okay. We're going to try and take this uh, outpost, I think. And... That's fine. We'll just... Bring these guys here and chill. Just chill. You 
know what? Let's start bringing these ones out here too. Fill the gap. I'm not going to rush that. Do another War Shaman, I think. All right, now we need to try and work in this way I move to. So maybe we move to like right there. Okay. Oh, buddy, look at those. That is scary. Hopefully, yeah, they just patrol. Let's see if this dude's going to come and try and beat us. He is. Risky battle, which is so crazy. I mean, I get that this is legend. Wow, yeah, look at that. 42 damage. That is pretty good. Let's see if we can just auto it. Oh, wow. I find it hard to believe that my two heroes can't beat these dudes. Are they, like, super tanky, too? Oh, yes, that's why. They're six and five. Yeah, okay. Oh, goodness. All right, all right, all right. This is what we need to... Watch out for is that arbalist. All right, well, that's not too bad. Fortune, that's the crit chance. Hmm. I do like the crit chance. All right, let's get in here. Or should we buff? Can I use this? No, not in zone of control. Should I buff? Hmm. Rally. Rally, defense, resistance. Eh. No, I think his... Oh, they have the freaking uh, cacophony, huh? Yeah, they have ceaseless cacophony. So... They're only going to get the uh, Jinx, potentially. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is why we lost, because it's so, they're so tanky. Look at that. Jeez Louise. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's um let's do the crit chance, I guess. And just uh Well, we blinded him, so that's good. So freaking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, we gotta just go for this. Try and do as much as much damage as possible. Alright, well we got a crit. Did some damage, that's good. Is he just gonna die? It looks like it. Wow. That's crazy. Definitely misjudged. Misjudged that. Alright, so we're gonna do... Uh-oh, I've got debuffs. Sundered Defense, Sundered Resistance. Oh, that's for my own thing. I've got Max Fortune, 3x. Exhausted. Reckless Rage, okay. I think that's a waste. Berserk and 3 Strengthened. Oh no, look. This is not being helped by Umbral Demon Splitterling. Yeah, so this does not... Um, where is it? Battle Seeker Training. All Tier 1 units in the army, but that is not... Is that... Oh, plus 5 hit points. But yeah, they're not getting the defense and resistance. From what I can see... Because that's zero, zero. Yeah. 
That's too bad. Even this, it looks like. That's a bummer. Kind of unclear, you know, the language. Alright, I think I'm gonna actually... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna berserk... No, I'm gonna berserk the crows. Because this thing can will disappear. Right? Yeah, in like one turn. This will probably die in, in one turn. Don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> yep, literally died just attacking. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh boy. Yeah, so this is basically where I die. Oh, look at and he's got three retaliations. Okay, well, so another really poorly judged um, combat there, because I think I could have uh, could have run away after beating that uh, leader. Maybe not though. Maybe I had to expend all my movement in order to reach him. I don't remember. But um, so. Yeah, I don't think we had to move all the way up here. I think I moved up here after I killed him because he was like right here. I think I moved up. I don't know. I don't rem I don't know if I could have actually evaded this. So maybe I was just doomed from the beginning. But that was definitely a bad decision. Um, but so anyways, this is the story realm. Um, which is cool. Oh no, they took the remains of Bao the Bear. That sucks. Um, again, and I'm also not super familiar with the Barbarian. Not to make excuses for just losing, because it's just, you know, you lose, you lose. Um, but so anyways, I also really, the point was I wanted to show off the new gear and the um, society trait, which really, unfortunately, I haven't really had the chance to use very much. Um, you know, I thought I would be using it a lot more frequently, but again, not super familiar with barbarians and their play. And I'm sure there are plenty of people who would tell me I'm doing a bad job because I imagine with the ability to make outposts, you know, you don't need to necessarily make a ton of settlements. Um, so the fact that I still only have the one is not that abnormal, maybe or as big of a deal. Um, but so, yeah. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. And I will probably try this again, maybe with like a different composition that I'm more familiar with. Because I do like um, the story realms. I've completed all of them except this one. Um, and this does seem like fun. So, oh boy. And then there was this coming. So yeah, I mean, we're in a... I mean, we might have... 72. We might have held up here. Yeah, because the dragon and the reaper... It really depends on if he just was killing stuff. Like, how this worked out is really... Um, I think what would determine the success of this battle because this thing well six defense it really depends on like if this guy would be blasting it and doing a bunch of damage although we'd surround it but with the blight and the poison breath and stuff that could be yeah decaying would be tough but anyways that's just you know all fun and games part of the game so um, hopefully, you know, I will be able to play, um, the new expansion when it comes out, maybe play some more of this expansion. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've already seen the El Eldritch Sovereign play, you know, you've probably seen most of the, uh, things from the 
current expansion, like the Tome of the Tentacle and things like that um, already, because I'm way behind, obviously. It came out four or five months ago. Um, but, you know, I do want to play those things and play the new the new um, culture. The Oathsworn looks really cool. If you haven't looked it up and watched the developer stream, you should. Because um, it's basically like samurais and stuff. And it looks cool. So I'm very interested to see like how all this, again, this new season of content all comes together. The game's shaping up to be very complex and intricate with lots of different things going on. And it's a great game. And I've really enjoyed it. I have just about 250 hours in it at this point, which is crazy again given the fact that I literally haven't played it in like four months, which sucks, but it's just the way things go on the night shift. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed watching this brief demonstration of early game failure on hard difficulty using some new stuff, uh, which you can once again get if you like the Pegasus in comparison to the Eagle flying mount uh, if you buy the season pass you will get this this also uh, can be changed it changes with your your races armor color what else did we get we got the route marcher I think it's called cultural trait swift marchers so yes uh, some benefits to using for Force March, you get some better efficiency using roads. You got an ex I had an extra scout to begin with. A cool helmet and a lance to use as a starting weapon. So anyways, that is going to complete this episode. And, um, you know, hopefully I will be back soon with some more stuff for you to watch. So, till next time, take it easy.